So we're here today. So I can have <laughs> so I can have a go in this. The car I knew very well from 1985 through to 1990. Beautiful, isn't it? XJR, yeah. Jaguar. Came in various numbers and flavours. This car was lucky enough to win a lot of races in to take the 1988 World Championship against Mercedes Salvo, actually, we were fighting against, and then it went on. So the chassis went through different years and uh, championships. What do you think of it? Well, it's carbon fibre, which is a start, one of the first ever. Uh, the space inside is massive. The size of the car is, is huge in comparison to... Not longer, not, not longer, actually slightly shorter, I think. But in, in terms of width, yeah. it just has absolutely massive width, huge Venturi. They look pretty, don't they? They look uncomplicated. Yeah, very elegant. Elegant shape without all the coat hangers and yeah. winglets and ugly bits. The cooling is what took, took me straight away. The well, amount of cooling, you know, a family of four could live in that. <laughs> you know, we've got the Le Mans 24 hour trophies side by side in our in our trophy cabinet and yeah. it's just it's uh yeah i'm a le mans driver i'm not i'm not a formula one driver as you were so for me this as i look sort of up to you is the is the pinnacle of your career that's achievable to me actually quite a nice drivable car not the downforce linear low to torque I think what Alex will be shocked about is how little safety there is inside the car. Um, and that was it, no hands device, no head protection. And if the revs are down, that means you've got a puncture because the tyre starts to grow. And if you're not getting, if you know you came off Terre Rouge at the right speed and your revs are not up, because what happens is the tyre just grows and grows and grows as it gets hotter and it goes bang at which point as wind had it takes the right rear corner brakes and aerodynamics with it so now you're on three wheels doing 200 and well what were we doing then? there was no chicane back then so you'd be doing about 220 230 miles an hour when you've got a three-wheeler with no rear downforce and no brakes so um gearbox is sweet now yeah yeah nice and sweet give it plenty of clutch you know, that's the one on the left. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. I was getting too happy and too comfortable, so I thought I'd better come in. That's a good sign yeah. of a good car, though, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. Well, it, it, it feels exactly like it used to. Well done, Gary, because it, it feels exactly, wow. you know, that, that sort of grumbly old engine until about twelve, uh, until about 4,000, then right. it's sort of the 12 cylinder, then the exhaust note takes over. And the car just keeps accelerating forward. And they just gather speed. The Le Mans car gathers speed. So we led the first ever sports car race for Jaguar in that, in Mossport. But they are they're very simple, they're very analogue, they're very beautiful. as a specialist now, he's a world-class driver in yeah. today's prototypes. Uh, I'd be interested to see how he feels about what they used to be like and, and, yeah. and the, the sort of, I think he'll be shocked at how physical, right, how physical and just, you know, somewhere like Daytona, we, they'd carry us off on a stretcher at the end of it because they get so hot inside. Yeah, got so much talk. And um, it's 
still like yeah, you, but got you the, trusted got the it. Road, got the road track, got the tram lines from the trucks, and because you had to cross for the king. Right. Yeah, so that was. You take that flab, you think about it. Oh. You have to get it right. In the middle of the night, you smell the barbecues, the mist coming over the circuit. That? Yeah, mate. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rear grip, isn't it? Oh, as ever. <laughs> man, the stability is just insane, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, isn't it a glorious engine? Yeah. And it just goes, doesn't it? I mean, you go through Beckett, you just, I don't know about you, I just leave it for. Yeah. Because uh, you're completely torque rich and ability to shift poor yeah. <laughs> because you have to manage yeah. everything going on, so you just leave it up again. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I've already thanked Gary. That was awesome. I've met one of my heroes. Yeah.